Well, I'm standing in the beautiful display gardens of Out in the Garden. I'm, I'm here with Dale. And Dale, one of the things we wanted to go over with you is these wonderful little retaining walls we see here and how this is stuff that you have right here, technically from the soil, rocks that you found while digging up, and show people the charming thing that you did with them. So, first of all, tell us you just gathered the rocks up. Yeah, we're just blessed with rocky <laughs> soil here. So, uh, every hole we dig, we get another rock, and I've just been gathering them since we started here. And from the first time you saw the rocks, was the thought, oh, I can do something with this? Or was it more like, let's just make a pile of these so I can get the beds done? We started out making a giant pile and, and uh, we were looking at, our, our land is pretty flat. Yeah. And so we thought, well, we need some, some height in the garden. And I just thought, well, I got all these rocks, I should use them. Yeah, so then th take us through the steps from there then. What did you, how'd you go about coming up with the walls? Well, these, were, these, these walls are not structural per se. They're just holding themselves up and they're just stacked rocks. So you, you're not gonna get really tall walls doing it this way. Yeah. Uh, but we can add some interest to the garden just by having them here. But there was still, there was still I don't know if it just came to you naturally or if there was a, a success failure ratio that made you figure out, but you still figured out how to do it so they really last. Yeah, uh, it, it was kind of uh, trial and error yeah. that way, and so I started stacking them up. I've got an, enough engineering training, I guess, to know <laughs> that I needed to give it some width and be able to support it and uh, have it stay in place. And I see that you have, you've started it here, but then you have a very flat surface you've carved out with a flat shovel. Yeah, so to get started, I just take a flat shovel and, and dig out the, the soft soils and get myself down to where you're into more compacted soils as a good solid base. Yeah. These ones, again, they're not structural, so I'm not too worried about them if they settle and shift a little bit. Because since they're not concreted in at all, it's just gravity that holds them, if they do change, you can always go back and adjust them and change them back. Absolutely, I can fix them. And then I am noticing a whole variety of sizes and the big ones seem to be on the bottom. That is one thing that you're, you do. Yeah, put the big ones on the bottom, that way they're, that the forces are kind of spread out sure. into a greater area and gives that, that stable foundation just like a house. Well, you know, the only engineering I have was with Lincoln Logs, and they were all the same size, so that, that makes perfect sense to me. But you do have some that you've already finished and have been in for a couple of, maybe two or three years now, so That's correct. let's walk over there and take a quick look at those. Great. Now, Dale, here we are at a wall that you've actually put in probably about three years ago, right? Yeah, it started about three years ago. And you know, we were talking about the process, but you told me that when you started this, you actually started up here. Correct, I started, we, we have this Japanese maple here and we wanted to, I, I thought, well, we'll feature it. So I built that corner uh -huh. and it was just a small segment. Um, we ended up adding another maple on the other end of the garden. And I thought, well, it would look really nice to do the same thing sure. over there. And eventually, I looked at it and said, you know, I, I really need to connect the two up to make it look really good. So that's that. it's been an ongoing process. Well, way. and then once this got done, you said that you looked on this side and went, oh, now I need something over here. So you added that one. Yeah, gardening's an artistic thing. And it is. I looked at it and said, you know, for balance, it would look really good to have a wall over there as well. Well, and I think that's one of the, for me, one of the delights in building this kind of retaining wall is that it is, it can be added to. Absolutely. It can be taken away from. Absolutely. It's a very easy way to use what's surplus right yep. in front of you to make something more beautiful in the garden itself. Absolutely. Well, you know, if this is something that interests you, you can go to come out to the nursery, certainly out to out in the garden and talk to Dale, or if Dale isn't here, you can talk to Carol, or you can go to gardentime.tv and we'll click you over to their website. This is really beautiful. Thanks, thanks for giving us the insights. Thanks for coming and seeing it.